Okay, so when you set up a um, new project in Premiere, just set it up to the, the kind of settings that you, you want to use. Okay, and you can, if you drop images, still images, onto the timeline from, for a stop frame, you can adjust the speed of it later, so you don't need to worry too much if the frame rate for your final video is the same as the frame rate you've captured your, your images at, because mm. you can adjust the speed. So you want to set it up as DV power, the standard 48 kilohertz. Now, the, um, with your digital SLR, the image is, will be quite really high resolution. Yeah. So you can probably drop that from like the um, the top resolution down to a kind of medium or even a low resolution. That'll be fine, which will mean you'll be able to get more images onto the capture card that you're you're using. Okay, so I'm just going to save this. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so we'll just set up this new project. All right. So what I've got in here is um, an image sequence. So of different images, and there's about a thousand images in it. And they're actually quite high resolution. They're like um, 1280 by 720, which is HD. Um, okay. So what we're going to do is actually drop those onto a timeline in in Premiere. So we've got a sequence set up here. Yeah. If we go to File and Import, then if we go to that folder of images, because um, these are all in a sequence, a numbered sequence, Premiere recognizes that. Mm. So we can check this numbered stills option here and import it. Oh, and it should have. Imported the whole thing. Okay, so it's important. now these these images are target files, which means that the playback is actually really good from the outset. With JPEGs, the compression rate is slightly different, so you might notice it's not um, quite so easy. Um, so they're numbered stills. Now, one other important thing to mention is that um, under one of these settings, under the general settings. Um, the still the default still image duration is two frames, which basically means it's running at 25 frames per second. So two frames for a still means that you get about 12 and a half. Or you get 12 and a half stills per second. Okay, so it kind of doesn't add up to exactly a second. So if we change that to to one, you work at 25 frames per second, then it would the the sequence would be a different length. So you can adjust that here. So if you're working at about 12 frames per second, you can set that to two, two frames. Okay. We're not working to film, we're working to a, a kind of digital format, so it doesn't. it's not the same as the 24 frames per second you'd be working with if you're working to film. Okay. If you ever end up working on a film, you'll need to look at the format that you're actually outputting to. So, Okay, so this is basically it. So now we can drop that image sequence onto the timeline and it will, will play back. Can we do that with our images we have, put them numbering? <laughs> yeah, so. We'll, we'll, we'll say if we're using JPEGs, we've got them all on. <laughs> yeah. We can do that thing to inform them. Yeah, so when you're taking them on a digital camera, the digital camera will number so them incrementally, yeah. won't it? It'll be like so image, you know. 2,491, yeah. 92, yeah. 93. So they yeah. should be in an order unless you've taken one and then there's a, a gap. So you want to try and avoid those gaps because Premiere will kind of question that when you import it because it's looking for a, a kind of complete numbered sequence. Okay. So if you have a pause, you may want to, um, you know, put those into different folders and import them separately. Yeah. Okay. So you just have different sets of image sequences. But basically the editing process for this now, this image sequence, is the same. So you can shorten the duration of it. Um, oh, it's easy then having each image. Yeah, on the exactly. And also you can, like we said, you can adjust the speed of it. So that's 40 seconds at the moment. We can make it 20 seconds. Speed it up. Okay. So. And then 
Oh, and uh, the other thing as well is that these images, and you'll have to pay attention to this too, um, if you just drop the resolution of this down. So the image is actually larger than the canvas size. Okay, so it's um, it's not adjusting the size, but because it's one image sequence, so we can just we don't have to change the resolution of each image. So it's actually a widescreen format that these images are in. So um, we're going to have to crop it around the sides to get it to fit in. Okay. Any other questions about that? Is that that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Straightforward. yeah, I mean, you will find that um, you know you, you do need to render things out to kind of get real time playback sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, actually, one thing that should be said is that if you're working on any um, video process, then working with the, the video files on a separate hard drive to the one that the system and the software is running on will make the process, the whole process quicker. Yep. Okay, so if you've got an external hard drive, keep well, a backup of your stuff on the H drive, um, but um, it should be either a Firewire hard drive or a, yeah. you know, a, um, yeah. a USB drive, not not the little USB sticks, they don't tend to work so well. Um, but that will... I was will... doing it at home, so I've got two internal hard drives, yeah. so I was to put the videos on the data one, yeah. not the system one, then it'd be... It'd be quicker, yeah. Because the, the processor can read and write yeah. from both drives at the same time, yeah. and can actually read and write a little bit quicker most most of the time nowadays. Then the drives can yeah. give the information. So if you're doing the system to one drive, especially with video, yeah. then it will it will slow the process down if you're working only on one drive. So work on two, and it will will be quicker. Okay, that's pretty much the same with with anything. Yeah, you know, the <laughs> processor can keep up with reading and writing to both those drives at the same time. It's the drives that generally uh, are sluggish. Yeah. So. That's good. Okay, you're going to be.